Today, we're going to be building a park inside of Theme Park Tycoon, but every single ride is going to have a randomly generated length. This length can be from extremely short to almost non-existent, all the way up to across the entire park. We'll be spinning this wheel here, and whatever it lands on, we're going to have to build. So make sure you watch this video to the very end, but before we get into any of it, make sure you're subscribed down below. As if you anyone like Theme Park Tycoon, you will definitely like my channel. Anyways, let's just get straight into today's video. So the timer starts in 3, 2, 1, and go. Okay, the ti timer started, yep. Alright, so this is the wheel here. We have super small, small, normal, slightly bigger, big, huge, and insane. So let's spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. Because uh, I'm kind of scared to get insane. That That's going to be kind of crazy. Okay, so first ride we got, it's big. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start building a pretty big ride. Now, I think a cool roller coaster to build, a big roller coaster, would be... Let's do a multi-launch coaster. Now, I want to build a ride like Maverick, because Maverick is awesome. So, we're going to start this ride off some brakes, and then we're going to go straight into some boosters. Now, uh, I'm going to assume a lot of you guys know what Maverick is, but uh, it starts very interesting as the ride crests a hill with a launch. And then it goes into a beyond vertical drop, which honestly is probably one of the most insane beyond vertical drops on any coaster I've done. Like, you really feel that. Uh, th this is definitely a way bigger drop than what's on Maverick, but you know what? We're, we're having fun here. All right, so we're going to do kind of a twist like that. And then we're going to have this bank out more. Actually, I'm going to make it kind of go a little bit more inward right here. And then I'm going to also have it just, like, already start rotating a little bit. Now, uh, we have a very uh, tight constraint here. So, I wanted to do kind of, like, a forceful turn. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. So, we'll do kind of a whippy transition right here. Maybe we'll do an inversion because these are cool. We'll do, like, something like that. Now, I think my favorite part on Maverick is right after the first drop, they there's these, like, back-to-back -back turns. And they are so forceful. You go from going left to going right and then back to left again. So I think I want to try to do something like that. So, uh, yeah, left, right, left, and then, uh, we'll make it kind of, like, turn pretty sharp around here. Now, the reason why I did Maverick for a big ride, now, on paper, it's not, like, huge as in tall, but it's a huge ride when it comes down to just how long this ride is. It is a very long ride. All right, we're going to do a, just a barrel roll right here, because why not? Shouldn't be going too fast now. So we'll just kind of whip it down here. All right, so the next thing I want to do, we're going to do kind of some boosters here. We'll do a, a very uh, fast thing going on right here. Some very whippy transitions. And then uh, right here, we'll do kind of a cool little stall. You know, I'm going to give an interesting uh, engine to this ride. We're going to add some brakes here. And we're going to end this ride sort of like a ride at Dollywood. There's this ride called Mystery Mine, and it has this cool ending where it just kind of, like, leaves you upside down for a second. I think that'd be kind of a cool ending. But maybe something like this would be kind of cool, where it does, like, a kind of an inversion like that. Okay, I think this is the ride here. Uh, pretty long ride, a lot of stuff, uh, and it looks kind of fun. So, we're gonna have to kind of, like, fix this up a little bit, so... I think, for one, we're gonna have to, like, adjust this. Kind of make it so it doesn't boost too fast going up this. So I'm gonna remove, like, a whole row of these. And, uh, let's just test this. Let's see how it looks. I, I think this is a pretty long ride. I mean, it's got two whole launches, uh, and it's just jam-packed with, uh, stuff. Alright, let's try this. Uh, did a few changes to it. Should be better now. Oh, now, now we actually need to get this, so there is an extra booster here. Might actually have to do it the whole way up. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so I got, like, kind of the loading platform, and we're gonna make a tunnel under here. I got a lot of really cool ideas for this. So we're gonna have the exit of this ride be just something right around here, just like that. Boom, bada bow, easy. And then the queue for the ride, it will do the same thing right here. So we'll just boom, and then boom, and then boom, and then boom, and then boom, bada bow, easy. Now we can uh, wrap this queue path just like that, and it will go right into the station. All right, so we're going to get this connected up. Now, what I want to do next is we're going to get some wooden walls, and we're going to put them around this first layer like this. So something like that. And then we're going to grab these roofs. This is going to be kind of a complex, a more complex station than what we typically do uh, for these challenges, but 
this might be one of the coolest stations I do uh, if I pull this off and make it look nice. So we're going to grab this here, move that back, and we're going to just kind of fill this whole area in right here. So uh, next thing I want to do is I want to like work on this tunnel right here. So uh, kind of like on Maverick, uh, as you go into the second launch, there's a huge tunnel you go into. And uh, I want to make that. Now I might not theme the inside of the tunnel because uh, this is a challenge and we got to do it. Uh, in a conservative amount of time, but we'll try to make something kind of cool here. All right, the tunnel is almost done. Okay, that's not bad. And then uh, I might even do like some custom supporting right here. So let's just grab this and then just yeet this up like that. Boom. Maybe uh, one more even here uh, if I can fit it. Yeah, I, gu I guess that'll work. Now I'm going to paint it all like this gray, the outside right here. Same with the supports. You know, I actually really like that color scheme. We're going to do that on the whole ride. Kind of like a more, I don't know, interesting look. I like it. All right, we're going to add some brick walls right here. And we're going to paint them. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to, oh, oh my god, what did I just do? Okay, I just placed one right and one right there. Now we're going to have these brick things go around here, just like that. Okay, so I got all of the supports done, and I kind of, like, finished the tunnel and uh, did the fencing on this. But now I think I want to actually work on the actual structure for this ride. Um, so let's go work on the roofing, all that good stuff. Uh, th this should be very fun to do. Oh my god, I'm screwing up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're going to do, like, right here. We'll go up like this. And then uh, we'll do it all the way till probably here, I think. And then we're going to grab these pieces right here. And then we're just going to go around. Something like this. Now, I want to build kind of a cool looking roof structure on this. So we're going to go up a little bit here. We're going to use solid wooden things right here. Um, and then we're going to do just some of these roofs here. Do a big like barn style roof here. And we'll have this go all the way around to be like that. Okay, uh, it definitely looks kind of interesting. Maybe I'll delete these side. I don't know. I've got to just toy it around. Uh, that, that's how I typically do roofs. Uh, I just toy around until I, I see something that I like. I mean, to be fair, I think that's what, literally what like most people do when they play this game. They just like build stuff. And then, you know, if it looks cool, it looks cool. So yeah, I think this is going to be the, the roof for this. This here's got to go out by one more. So let me delete this. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm deleting the ride. Not what I'm trying to do. Okay. Now we're going to grab this here. Boom. And then uh, do the same thing right here. And uh, yep, this is uh, pretty much a done ride right now. Like there, there's not much more I really want to add to this. Okay, boom. Th this ride's done. Now, the next thing that's left for this is we need to add trees. I want to add a lot of trees for this ride. So we're just going to put a lush forest of trees all around here, you know. Should be whipping around all the different trees. So pretty, beautiful. And um, do some of these trees here. Do some here as well. I think uh, that should be good. We'll do one there and then boom. Okay. That's a very lush forest of trees. And uh, I think I like that. I think it's cool because you get to watch it kind of like pop in and out from up above. And there's some really cool vantage points right around the ride. So I'm uh, just going to do some trees here and then some basic trees just right around here. Okay. Boom. This ride is pretty much done. Now, uh, I think we should work on the next ride, and, uh, I just realized we wasted over 30 minutes on this ride. I'm sorry, I wanted to make it look kind of cool, and it looks amazing. Oh, my God. All right, next ride. All right, so let's spin the wheel. Let's see what we land on. Oh, boy. Uh, I hope it's a big one. Um, slightly bigger. That's what I think we're gonna land on. Yeah, slightly bigger. Okay. So, you know, we're gonna have to build kind of a, a medium-sized ride, so I think a great medium-sized ride is just a single rail coaster. These are very medium-sized, you know, it's not uh, an insane roller coaster. They look cool, you know, they're very easy to build, so I think that's gonna be what we build here. So, I'm gonna start this ride off with kind of a, a cool little start, so we'll just do a little bit of banking, you know, in... Um, we could do kind of like a little out section because, you know, these rides start pretty whippy. Um, and then come back in like that. And then, uh, you know what? Let's just like start the ride off by going into a barrel roll, you know? Like, yeah, okay. R ride is just began. We're going to just invert riders like this. That's a that's a pretty uh, interesting way to start a ride, you know? I keep thinking that this challenge is our last challenge where we couldn't delete any parts. 
Uh, it's still kind of ingrained a little bit into my skull, so like, as I'm building, I'm just like, oh wait, I can't delete anything, but yeah, I, I can actually delete something. Okay, I hope this will work. I'm gonna have to test this out. Alright, let's see if uh, this will work. I think this will be an interesting start, because it's a little whippy. Let's just test it. Oh, yep, very cool. And then it should go very slow over that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and then it's gonna go right into a chain lift. Um, okay, we're gonna start the ride with a pretty, uh, gnarly drop here. Actually, uh, I just realized we kind of got an issue. We can't really, like, do a drop anywhere. Maybe we'll have to, like, send it over this way. I think, yeah, that's gonna probably be what we have to do. Okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna just kind of have a little bit of an, uh, inward drop like that. Boom, beyond vertical. Let's just do something kind of whippy here, you know? Just, we'll have it, like, kind of go around here like that. And then, uh... Maybe we'll do uh, something kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's do an inverted drop just randomly like this. All right, so I think the first thing I want to start doing is, like, kind of constructing, like... Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there. We're good. I want to construct a little wall of trees, as I was saying. Like, I want to kind of keep this where you can't really see the ride unless you're over here. All right, let's build a station now. So, we got to grab our ceilings, just like that. We're just going to go along there. And um, I'm going to do something kind of cool here. So, we're going to go with these wood walls. And we're just going to kind of wrap it around it like this and then uh this side too and then uh i'm gonna wrap this back like that okay uh i got like kind of this part done and uh i made like a little cool little tunnel right there and it kind of goes through it it looks pretty awesome but uh i'm gonna just like boom easy now we're gonna get some fences we're gonna just fence all this up right here easy boom 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 easy 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 and then we're gonna go over here. And then we're gonna fence this part up, just like that. And then go all the way around. Okay, I think that is kind of cool looking. And uh, of course, we gotta add like a little roof onto this, cause uh, can't just like leave this out in the open. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on decorating this ride, just because I wanna work on at least one more coaster before the end of this challenge, which uh, is looking more grim every second that goes by because we don't have all the time in the world to, to be working on this. So wait, let me just get all that like that, and then we're gonna grab some of these, and we're just gonna do a very basic roof. I'm thinking, thinking just something like this all the way down, um, and then we're gonna do like probably some meshes on either side. So let's just grab our mesh piece, these right here. Oh, that is not a mesh piece. All right, let's just uh, put some bushes here, you know, just like that, boom. This side too. Gotta get all around here. Uh, just to kind of like spruce it up and make it look kind of cool. And then, uh, let's just put some trees right here. Boom. Easy. And, uh, I think that is pretty much the, the ride. Almost done. Um, now I do want to make like a little pathway here. Just like, you know, to connect these rides up. Um, and then we can kind of align this one right here. So it'll be something kind of like this, is what I'm thinking. That'll be kind of cool. And then uh, we can just put like some bushes right down the middle, you know, kind of like spruce it up. Uh, this side, and then go all the way down here. And then, um, yeah, I think this uh, area is literally almost done. Now, I want to build one more ride here. And I want it to go specifically probably right here. But it uh, depends how big this ride's going to be. So let's go over to uh, the wheel. Let's see what we get. All right, spin in the wheel, spin in the wheel. Let's see what we land on. Oh my gosh, what are we going to get? Oh my god, super small. Oh my god, what are we going to build for super small? Um, okay, that that's going to be an interesting one because that's going to be an interesting one cuz super small means it's going to be something very compact, very uh small track length wise. Um, so I guess um I mean, we, we probably have to do, like, a kitty coaster. Like, that that's pretty much our only option for this. So, let, I guess let's build one of these. Um, what would be a cool one for this? Maybe an alligator. We could, like, kind of theme it to a lagoon or something. I don't know. We could do something cool, probably. All right, so let's just start the ride. Um, we could just have it start here, I guess. And uh, I'm just going to go, like, straight up into a chain lift. Now, uh, I, we'll have this ride kind of, like, weave around trees and stuff like that. But remember, this is a super small ride, so... We can't really have it go on for too long. Like, maybe I would do, like, two chain lifts normally. But, uh, I don't think we can do that for this. Because we got super small, so. Okay, so we're gonna do a turn here. And maybe we'll go into, like, a little helix. We'll have it go around in a circle. 
Actually, I'm instead of a helix, I'm just gonna kind of like make it like weave around stuff. I love coasters that do that. So we'll keep it low to ground, something like this. And then uh, I guess we could try to do a helix upwards right here. Uh, actually, we'll just kind of like make it go like up into like a little airtime hill or something. And uh, I think that'll be the ride. Very short, um, you know, not not too crazy uh experience but guys we we don't have uh we can't really go too crazy with it because this is a very tiny ride supposedly oh man i love that coaster though that looks so freaking cool so yeah as you can see it's a very small little roller coaster so we're gonna just add a little bit of detail around here uh that's a little too much i think uh let's grab some trees i want to make it feel like you're kind of going into the back of a forest you know it's a area that nobody has ever traversed through you know, something like that. And then, um, we can do, like, some, you know, some bushes here. That'd be kind of cool. Let's grab some of these bushes and just litter them all around here. Um, some trees right here would be kind of cool looking. You know, just in the backside. We'll do some of these trees, or some of these. And then, uh, you know, scatter just some more all along here. And, uh, I think that'll pretty much be this ride. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, just kind of goes around a little bit. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna build a quick entrance and exit, and we might be able to do one more ride, because this one was so small. So let's just go like that, and then, uh, you know, we'll have this exit, just, you know, something basic. I'm gonna actually kind of, like, update this a little bit, because, uh, it's kind of a small station, to be honest. It, it shouldn't be really anything that big. It, that should literally be how big the station is. Alright, this is what I'm thinking now. Okay, th that's cool, and then, uh... Let's just go ahead and, uh, get, like, a really quick, uh, little roof on this. So, um, I think something like that. Boom. Boom. Like, I'm literally gonna build the most basic, like, just station on this. Because I wanna, like, build one more ride. If possible. So, we'll just boop, 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 boop. Easy. Okay, that's a ride. And then let's grab these fences, wrap that up right there, and then we're just going boom, easy. Okay, yeah, that that ride's done. I mean, I'm not I'm not going too crazy on that one. Uh, let's let's build one more ride because we have time. All right, let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. Come on. Oh, what are we gonna get? Small. Okay, okay. For small, I have an idea for a ride, and we're gonna try to build it like super quick. So we're gonna grab the vertical. Where is it? The vertical coaster. This one. And we are going to build the most compact roller coaster ever. So let's just start like this. Um, and then we're going to go straight into a chain lift. So you guys might know of this roller coaster. It's called El Loco. You can find it at the Adventure Dome in Vegas. And we're going to try to build this in a really cramped amount of space. All right. So uh, we're just going to go like straight down into a very steep vertical drop. That's how a lot of these are. And they're very crazy. So, uh, I think that'll be cool, you know? And if we have time, I actually will try to theme this ride. Like, I, I, I have, like, an amazing idea. We can make it, like, go up, like, against a cliff wall or something here. But we got 10 minutes, so this is gonna be kind of a challenge. Uh, now, from what I remember, these rides aren't too hard to build. But, uh, cause just they're very short and they're small. Um, so it shouldn't be too crazy, but we're gonna try. So we need to just kind of, like, make it go right here. So let's just rotation okay boom and then just we're gonna yank this forward just a tiny bit here okay no that's not gonna work wait 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 okay uh i got kind of a basic layout done i guess i don't really know we're just gonna have it kind of like go back down here now uh these rides do something kind of cool uh I, if you guys don't remember i was talking about mystery mine and how it did that cool thing well, this ride does that too, but in my opinion, it does it way more crazier. All right, so I just finished the roller coaster, and I think it looks pretty cool. Out of the little ending, all of that. Now, we're going to go ahead and just, like, spam trees down. I don't think we have enough time to actually do the theming that I wanted to do. So, I mean, or maybe we could try, like, you know, raising up the terrain or something around here or something. I don't know. Do something kind of basic while we can. Uh, just, just something cool, I guess. I don't know. We could do it, like, right around here, too. And then, uh, we could add some trees and stuff behind it, I'm thinking. Just all along here. Just some trees. Boom. Now, this ride will also have a pretty basic station. You know, it's not a too crazy of a ride to have a overly complicated station and stuff. So, uh, let's just, like, grab some more of these. And we're just gonna put them, like, back here. Just like that. Yeah, that, that actually does look pretty cool. So, we'll just go along here. Something like that. Bring that up a little bit. And then, uh, oh, issue right here. We gotta, like, fix that. Uh, okay, boom. 
And then, uh, oh my gosh, I'm kind of like rushing this because we don't have that much time left. Okay, uh, entrance for this ride is gonna go right here. Uh, exit will be on the other side. Okay, this should be a very simple one to build. So, all we really have to do on this, we're gonna just grab these mesh roofs. And we're just gonna build like a three across right here. And then, uh, we're gonna extend some roofs down this way. Because, you know, we gotta add a little bit just like right along here. Actually, we might not even go that far. We might just do it on one side, actually. Just something like that. And then, uh, we'll grab this. And then, go right here. This side, boob. And then, uh, you know, we'll go out for this. Um, something easy like that. And then, uh, we'll connect this side up, just like that. And, uh, gotta paint this. Um, oh my gosh, we only got four minutes left. I, I, I have, like, not even, like, really, like, decorated this park all that much. I wanna add an entrance, too. Oh my gosh, I actually don't know how possible all this is gonna be. We're gonna try. We're gonna see if we can. But there's a good likelihood that, uh, we won't get to finishing even the station for this. Alright, so, we're gonna go right here. Back, forth, just like that. And then we're gonna just place one of these wood things down and then boom easy okay we'll do that that we'll, we'll, we'll take that uh and then we'll just boom like that okay now this is kind of lined up for for the entrance too so uh you know we'll just kind of decorate this just a little bit by placing some cool trees down right here and then we're, we need to grab some bushes I want to put bushes here, and then we're going to also have to add supports. We're going to have to paint all this. There's still a lot of stuff needing to be done we're going to have to work on. All right, so let's grab some of these bushes here. We're just, or some of these uh, fences, and we're just going to go along here, just like that. This side, too. Boom. Okay, and then we got to, like, kind of do the fencing for the ride itself. And then we also have to add foundations for it, because I haven't even done that. And then the supports for, like, the actual structure. Oh, my gosh. There's so much that needs to be done. Okay. This goes here. Boom. Boom. Easy. Okay. Now we got to paint all this. So, let's just... Oh, God. I don't want pink. Ew. Ew. I hate pink. All right. Boom. We're just d doing that. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, miss, like, painting stuff. We got to, like, fix that. Okay. Now we're going to go back over here. We're going to grab this wall right here and just go down all along here on this side. We also have to paint- oh my god, there's so much stuff that needs to be painted right now. Okay, we'll do that. And I'm not even gonna lie, this is actually- if we complete this, this is a cool final coaster. It's so small and compact, and this, like, is perfect. It, it's actually perfect. Okay, we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna grab some bushes here. We're gonna place one there. And then let's get our poles right here. Let's just yeet this upwards right here. Boom. And then, uh, right here as well. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. All the way around. Okay. And then, uh, let's just boom, 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 boom. Easy. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna play some more trees. Because I, I wanted to do, like, some cool, like, theming stuff. But I'm not getting to that. So we're just gonna, like, kind of yeet some trees around there. And, uh, let's just connect all this up now. So we gotta build a little entrance into this park. Uh, let's just right here. Boom. Boom. Easy. Now let's grab a roof just like that. And then, uh, we'll grab these poles right here. And then we'll just go across just like that. Easy. That is very cool looking. Wood right there. And, uh, yeah, we are almost done with this park. So I'm thinking just some more trees here. Some right there. Okay, this is this is looking good. I want to do some final touches to these rides. So, uh, this over here, I think it should get some bushes along with here. There's a lot of just empty spots without anything. So, I'm just going to kind of fill these in. Um, let me just double check everything. I don't want to make sure there's any, like, trees colliding into roller coasters. This ride has one. Let's delete that. Any over here? There's one. Um, what about the cigarette? Don't see anything. Oh, one right there. Um, any for the other roller coaster? Let's see. Uh, I don't see any on the Maverick one, so it looks... Oh, one right there. Okay. Awesome. We're getting rid of all the collision issues. I really want to add, like, some more trees and stuff. Like, it, it kind of needs some more trees on certain areas, like like this area here. I think some more trees would probably go a long way. I, I kind of like this little coaster right here, though. It, it's really cool. All these rides are pretty dope, but... um. Oh, yeah, I forgot to, like, place, like, trash cans down and seats. And, oh, my gosh, there's, like, missing, like, fences. Oh, goodness, wait. We gotta, like, do some stuff real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. We got 18 cents. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. We gotta add some more fences, like, around here because we didn't do that. Uh, all along here. Uh, okay. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm screwing up. Oh, my God. Wait. Boom. 
Boom. Oh my god. And then, uh, yeah, uh, uh, delete, delete. Uh, 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 oh my god. Wait, um, um, okay. Uh, challenge over. Uh, I'm, ca I'm calling it there. All right, so this is our park, and it looks freaking cool. Okay, so our park is now officially completed, and I'm gonna go check out some of these coasters that we need. All right, let's get on board this bad boy, and, um, you know, we got some cool rides coming up. I think a single rail one is going to be freaking cool. I love that little first thing. That turned out so much cooler than I expected, but here we go. I can't believe I built this whole park, by the way, in one singular hour. That, that's just kind of crazy. All right, so here we go. Doing a little turnage left. Oh, my gosh, right. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. We're going to go left again. Oh, boy. A very thrilling uh, experience. Oh, oh uh, tree issue. I'm shocked I didn't catch that. But yeah, that that is this first ride, and yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I do like it. But we're gonna go ride our next one, which is this one, which is an El Loco inspired roller coaster, uh, and I think this one is pretty spot on. Um, I mean, even down, it, it's so funny because these trains are literally like identical to the El Loco trains. But yeah, here we go, going all the way. Oh my God, there's where uh, uh, Vitamin jumped to his death. Uh, I I still left that up there. Okay, here we go, going down the first drop. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Very steep drop. It's got a lot of speed, a little bit of whip to it. You know, I ain't complaining. And then, whoa, a little bit of turnage too. And then, oh my gosh, getting it hung upside down. Very cool. And then right into the brakes. Overall, pretty nice little ride. But now our next roller coaster is the one I'm pretty excited for. And then we got this awesome Maverick roller coaster. Oh my gosh. That Maverick one looks just crazy. We're, this is going to be just... This easily is probably one of the best one-hour challenge videos I've done. So uh, let me just go ahead and restart this, and we will go ahead and ride. Okay, guys. Here we go on board this Cigarelle coaster. And oh, there's a little uh, kitty coaster right there. Uh, got a little whip to it. Oh, and then... Whoa! Okay, that is cool. That gets me... Uh, that, 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 dude, that is, like, weird, because it's, like, it's so slow. Uh, I've never done one of, like, any of these rides where it has, like, a start to it, with where it does something like that. I know there's a lot that do that. That seems really crazy, but, um, yeah. And also, real quick, but was before we hit the top of the chain lift, make sure you subscribe, because you made it this far into today's video. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. All right, we got a little turn right here, and then we got our big drop right here as we go down. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, we are going so fast. Oh, a little support right there. Uh, no issue with that. And then, uh, oh, look at that. Whoa, the whip to that. Oh, dude, could you imagine if that was real, bro? That would be crazy. Dude, RMC, hire me. I just invented the coolest version ever. Add that on your next coaster, please. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, look at that. Right to the very end. That that is a cool little ride. I love this cool little inversion here. That is almost like a pretzel roll or something. That is very whippy and cool. I, I hope that becomes real one day. I would love to experience that. But the next ride we're gonna do is our Maverick ride. And uh this one was supposed to be a very large ride. Um, and by the way, that, that's kind of funny. I didn't even mention this. So this one was small. This one was very small. This one was normal. And this one was huge. Uh, so yeah, let's ride this. All right, here we go on board our Maverick roller coaster. Uh, so, you know, Maverick, it starts with a pretty cool little launch right up the lift hill. Here we go, full speed. Oh, we're sending it. We're sending it. Oh boy, we're going up pretty high. And then, oh my gosh, beyond vertical drop as we go into this very... Uh, tight little maneuver to that roll. Very cool. And then, uh, we got a lot of uh, speed going around the track right now. And then uh, I think we got a roll here. Yeah, we got a cool little roll. And then uh, go into this, which is our second launch here where we really get speed. Here we go. I think this is probably the fastest part of the ride. And then uh, we got this stall. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, stalls in real life are so cool. And then this final element, which goes right over the pathway. Oh, that's so cool. And then right into the brakes. Pretty cool park, I do have to say. These parks are only getting better each video. Um, I'm pretty shocked I built this in one hour. But, guys, I think this is pretty much everything for today. If you like today's park, let me know down below. But, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.